Jerry has arrived. <laughs> Hello. I'm very, very excited for this flight. This so. is going to be fun. It's very pretty. And actually, taxiing out on the runway, there's so many blue bonnets. All you oh smell Oh my the god, blue I saw that. It's, it was like fields arriving here. Hey everyone, this is Eric Dowds and we are continuing the Diet Badass Tour. My journey from the West Coast to the East Coast, meeting as many people in the diabetic community as possible. And today's episode is so exciting. We are flying with Jerry Brzezowski. And his story is actually pretty important because when I end my video saying you can do anything and go anywhere, he's a reminder that it's not always true. But before I dive into that, let's pick up where the Diabas tour actually left off. Bye. Goodbye Joseph again. Goodbye. Alright, it's almost two o'clock and so they're going off to work. I'm gonna meet Marie soon to say goodbye to her. And then the plane ride tonight's around six, so nap shower, eat a little snack. <sighs> busy, busy Sunday, but amazing. for maybe 15 seconds now and I was told to rip off my sensor so we did that she's correct and then like a responsible type one you get all this like gunk left over so <sighs> what a goodbye I thought he would never take his sight off it's been there with signal loss multiple days all week and so <clears throat> it happened I've been trying to convince Marie to come uh, fly with us, but she does have a test, an actual actual student life. But she's the one that made it happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> made it happen is not coming, so pictures will be sent. <sighs> All right, something I didn't really think about while I wait for my Uber to arrive is that Marie and I met completely over the internet, like never in person, never anything like that. So it's so, so, so crazy that we actually spent a week together, brought so many people together, and then um, made this flight happen, which is even crazier. So, all right, Uber should be here in like three seconds. Life's a coat of many colors. It is never black and white. Can't have one without the other. The dark. Without the light. How long is flying to Houston? Where are we landing? Hooks, David Wayne Hooks. How long is the flight gonna be? Probably about an hour. Cool. Hopefully. Cannot wait. As yeah. long as traffic ain't bad. <laughs> as you watch us get ready for takeoff. Remember how I mentioned how Jerry's story is a reminder that sometimes we can't do something, at least currently? When Jerry was diagnosed at the age of 18 with type 1 diabetes, that automatically disqualified him from something. And that was to pass the medical to join the Navy to become a pilot. And that means he couldn't become a commercial pilot either. So this isn't just some ordinary flight. This is two type ones coming together to live out a small version of a bigger dream. Forever blue.
but if you've been following this journey, you know it always ends on a positive note. As I talked to Sam, Jerry's wife, around the bonfire, she was reminiscing how this was the first time Jerry really got to connect with others who understood him. And before long, Jerry, myself, and Jeremy Robertson, another T1D pilot, would be climbing back into the cockpit and taking a flight together, talking about a larger mission on how to help guide countries to rewrite their regulations so people who are insulin dependent can get behind the helm and fly commercial flights, pass their medicals, and maybe one day even be involved in our military and serve our country. Today, this was just a magical moment to share with Jerry and fly up in the sky. It was truly beautiful, and if you're also wondering, yes, eventually Marie did get her flight. But maybe we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Alrighty, I felt absolutely useless there, <laughs> but uh, Jerry Strong, so <laughs> we got the airplane in the hangar, people pulling in, then we'll drive out to the house.